This is the promotional video for our work titled A Study of Vulnerability Repair in JavaScript Programs with Large Language Models. My name is Kang, and I'm currently a master's student at Simon Fraser University. This study is a joint work with my professor and supervisor at SFU, Dr. Saba and Dr. Stephen. In recent years, JavaScript has become one of the most widely used programming languages, especially in web development. However, writing secure JavaScript code is not trivial, and programmers often make mistakes that lead to security vulnerabilities in web applications. Furthermore, detecting and patching vulnerable JavaScript code is tedious due to its heterogeneous, dynamic, and asynchronous nature. With the rapid development of artificial intelligence, large language models, or LLMs in short, are increasingly trained on large code bases with the goal of automatic code generation based on a required specification, including automatic bug repair. However, we currently do not have much insight into the role of LLMs in repairing security vulnerabilities in a dynamic language like JavaScript. Therefore, in this paper, we study the effectiveness of two publicly available LLMs, namely JetGPT and Bot, in repairing vulnerable JavaScript code. Regarding the methodology of our study, we input various prompts to instruct LLMs to find and fix vulnerability within a specific code snippet. Then we validate if the answers generated by LLMs are functional and secure or not. In our experiment, we propose two different prompt templates based on the degree of the provided context in the prompt, ranging from the additional context to comprehensive detail. To ensure that our study is practical and applicable to the real world, we also identified 20 common weakness, enumerations, vulnerabilities, or similarly in short, that are most relevant to JavaScript. As a result, we formed a total of 60 repair prompts for our testing with the large language models. Finally, from the experimental result, we aim to answer the following research questions. First, how accurate are LLMs in finding and fixing vulnerability in JavaScript programs? Second, how does the amount of context in the prompt impact the effectiveness of LLMs in producing a correct batch of vulnerable JavaScript code?